Have you ever heard of a cyanotype before? It's a photographic print that's made by exposing UV light to a coated photosensitive paper. It changes the chemical structure of the paper only where the light reaches it. When placed in water, the UV altered areas remain permanently fixed and deep blue in color while the unaltered chemicals on the surface wash away to expose the white paper. Well today I'm going to show you how to make very simple cyanotypes using two safe and familiar classroom favorites, nature print paper and scratch art. This is scratch art clear scratch film. Now unlike traditional scratch art materials, the black matte coating is not applied to paper, it's applied to a clear glossy plastic. You can't tell that it's plastic really until you start scratching into it. To prepare, I've cut the scratch art film in half so that it fits onto the nature print paper. I have also have prepared a pan of water and have it handy and waiting. It needs to be sized to fit the paper with about half of an inch of cool water in it. Most importantly, you need to keep the nature print paper indoors and sealed in its package until it's ready to use. To begin with, make a light sketch onto your clear scratch film, which I've already done here. Using a wooden stylus, scratch away at the matte black side of the clear scratch film. There are metal styluses available, but those really don't work well with this product because they etch into the plastic. You don't need to be concerned with drawing in reverse. However, you need to consider working in the negative. What you see as white, as I'm scratching away from it here now, is actually going to end up being a dark blue area. Best designs use a lot of white open areas and not so much black. Now I'm going to set this aside and bring out one that I've already completed. The same drawing with all of the areas scratched away. Now it's time to make the print. So let's take our nature print paper out of the package. It's sealed so that it won't get any light directed to it until you're ready to use it. Pull out a piece of paper and set it blue side up on a rigid surface such as this piece of cardboard. Then take your scratch art drawing and lay it over the top like so. Finally, you'll need a piece of glass, or in this case, I'm using a clear plastic styrene sheet and placing it over the top. Now put it in bright direct sunlight for about two minutes. Now if you want to do this project on a cloudy day or in early morning or evening hours, your prints are probably going to turn out lighter than the ones that I'm going to make today because I've got beautiful sunshine out there. So excuse me for a couple minutes while I head outdoors to make my print. Okay, I'm back. And you can see how my print has begun to expose. I'm going to put it into the pan of cool water. And you're going to leave it in there for about two minutes but immediately can see what's starting to happen here. The areas that you see as white are where the unaltered chemicals on the paper are now washing away. And the areas that are turning darker, those are the areas that have been affected by the sunlight. And they'll continue to darken in color and turn blue. Once you've left it in there for two minutes, set it aside on some paper towels to dry. I'm just gonna set this aside for now. And I'm going to show you a piece that's already dry and exposed. Now nature print paper itself is pretty lightweight, so I do recommend mounting it onto a piece of cardstock or poster board with a little glue just to give it a little bit of strength. Allow the glue to dry and you can either leave it blue like this or if you'd like to add a little bit of color, I recommend using a colored pencil such as this Blick color pencil, studio color pencil and color in right on top of the areas, right on top of the print. Another way you can color it 
is by using watercolor washes. Now the blue is permanent. Adding water over the top is not going to cause it to bleed at all. So the snake was printed with a little bit of watercolor over the top. Now I can take and go back out in the sun and make print after print after print with this clear scratch drawing. But when I'm done printing, I'm not necessarily finished with it. If I turn it over to the smooth side, the glossy side, as I've done with this piece right here, I can use a permanent marker, such as this Blick Studio permanent marker, and color those white areas to turn it into a piece of stained glass art, which I can then hang in the window and display as a stained glass piece. So really, it's two projects in one. So if you want to know how to get these materials and see the step-by-step -step instructions, visit dickblick.com backslash lesson plans. And if you're a teacher who's putting together lesson plans, we do list the national standards for visual arts education there help you out a little bit with your paperwork. So head on out into the sunshine folks and while you're at it make some solar power prints.